Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> so my task here this morning is very simple. It's a straightforward presentation um, on the role of national maritime administrations in achieving the objectives aligned to the MTCC project. Um, so I'll go straight into it. Within this short presentation, um, we'll be covering the roles and functions of Maritime Services Division, our relationship with IMO, um, our endorsement towards UTT as the MTCC Caribbean, the role of MSD in the MTCC project, our participation in its components, and the expectations of some of you here, the regional maritime administrations, as well as our ideas for beyond the MTCC project. So Maritime Services Division is an executive arm of the Ministry of Works and Transport, established to administer the provisions of the Shipping Act and other national maritime legislation. Um, the additional maritime legislation that mentioned there would include the oil, the oil Pollution and Territorial Waters Act, the Carriage of Goods by Sea, the Motor Launches Act, Drovers, Harbors, etc. Um, it is our duty to implement the regulatory functions embodied in this legislation. And our functions really are three pronged in that we take priority in ensuring the safety and security of life at sea safety of navigation in our territorial waters as well as the safety of our flag, our locally nationally flagged vessels um, on the high seas and in international waters as well as the protection of the marine environment from ship generated pollution. Our relationship with IMO, well the government of Trinidad and Tobago has been an IMO member state since 1965 and the division is the technical focal point for all IMO matters. We act as the Implementation, Monitoring and Compliance Authority for our IMO obligations, be it the instruments, including conventions, codes, protocols, guidelines, as well as sometimes consultancies and special projects such as this. We acceded to the MARPOL Annex 6 in September 2012, and a part of that, a part of that would involve us endeavoring to give full and complete effect to the provisions of the Annex, as well as the other Annexes of MAPOL. In so doing, we have, an, we have had an agreement with the Attorney General where drafting instructions were sent to incorporate the Annex 6 provisions into our proposed Marine Pollution Bill, which is currently a work in progress. The last um, Bill draft version of the bill we had was in 2004, but since then there has been additions, as I mentioned, it's a work in progress. UTT came to us and said they were interested in the project, and with due diligence, um, MSD endorsed Maritime Studies Chagramas Campus as the host institution for the MTCC under the IMOE project. Um, capacity building for climate mitigation in the maritime shipping industry last year and it's it's not no um, no new development we've been saying this while well, we've been going through this since yesterday um, UTT does possess the competency capability and the existing resources for delivery of these national well these tasks that are associated with the MTCC project such as national and regional capacity building for the port maritime and other maritime industry stakeholders associated with the project. We, we, we know that they have good engineering bridge um, simulators, etc., etc., and this is endorsed by Maritime Services Division. UTT's role as a maritime trading institution, we believe, places it in an advantageous position for networking, cooperation, stakeholder mode stakeholder mobilization, information dissemination, and overall capacity building with relation to Annex 6 as the MTCC. Our role in the project is sort of 
acting as an intermediary or point of contact between any critical communications between IMO and UTT. And so an example of that, but that would not happen, obviously, as if um, there are shortcomings on the delivery of certain timelines or delivery um, of goals or objectives associated with the project. But, as, but, but again, as we said, we have full faith in UTT and they would ensure that this project is carried out beyond meets and exceeds all, all expectations. Um, during the course of the project, MSD would be kept abreast of critical developments and its status so that we would continue to keep government informed and maintain relevant national political support. We are available to provide technical and in-kind support for the project as well and facilitate your coordination efforts as a UTT with the national regional with, with the relevant national and regional stakeholders. Um, through our endorsement, we were talking about the shipping notice that went out yesterday. Um, so we were very glad to be a part of this and propel these, um, well, propel the objectives of the project through whatever assistance we can render, as well as it's helping us to function better at, as a division and um, achieve our mandates as we have acceded to the convention. MSD participation in the MTCC project, we can participate in national and regional capacity building workshops such as this, facilitate the gathering and collection of data from vessels calling at our ports to feed into the pilot projects and implement any recommendations associated with the mandate of the MTCC project. We can take up a role as a government regulatory body as well to inform maritime stakeholders and the shipping industry of any new reporting requirements, data collection mechanisms, and ship energy efficient technologies that can be uptaked, uptaken associated with the project, and we are willing to do so. We had a meeting with IMO prior to the awarding of the contract to UTT, and what I said previous was some of the developments in the meeting, our role, how we would participate, how we endorsed. But at the same time too, we expect regional maritime administrations in the Caribbean to be an active part of the project as they are the target administrations in addition to Trinidad and Tobago to benefit from the project. Um, we wrote to many of the administrations, well, we wrote to the administrations prior to this meeting and they responded in writing that they are on board with the project and with its goals and so in doing such we with all due respect expect that they would participate in the MTCC's efforts to deliver the regional capacity building activities aligned with the project transfer and promote the latest knowledge and policies strategies and measures for reduction of emissions in the shipping industry promote the up uptake of the new technologies associated with Annex 6 and facilitate the pilot voluntary data collection exercises, as we mentioned yesterday, back home. In all, well, in due course, in due time, and within the time frame that is acceptable to the Secretariat of the project. As well as share results, experiences, and lessons learned throughout the process and beyond the project timeline. And in turn, UTT can share data, information, reports with national regional administrations where requested and approved. Mr. Alfred is very keen on this as he sees beyond the project. And just to echo his remarks at the opening ceremony yesterday, the MTCC would really create a platform for networking among the regional target administrations in the achievement of the objectives associated with the MTCC project, whether it be capacity building, um, assistance with legislation, data collection exercises, or technology uptake, and where feasible, this existing framework or network 
could be explored for other priority marine ship pollution prevention projects in the future, such as ballast water and so forth. So I mean, beyond the MTCC, building on the framework um, staged by the, all the hard work that goes into it would definitely set the pace for further Caribbean, for the Caribbean being advanced in dealing with ship marine, ship generated marine pollution. Um, that's about it. So, as I said, it was a very short presentation. It's more the administrative rules, uh, just to clarify and delineate our rules here. Um, so, Maritime Services Division is proud to be a part of the project as well, and we look forward to working with you all throughout the coming years until 2019. Thank you very much.